abundantly above all that we ask or think lift up your voice lord visit me in this service let me not miss my touch let me not miss my own encounter let me not miss my own appointed blessing give me my desired encounter in this service 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 give me my desired encounter in this service You have not asked the seed of Jacob to seek you in vain. Give me my desired encounter in this service. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name we have prayed. In this service, the hand of God is coming upon you for enlargement. The increase you have never recorded in your lifetime will break for today. Amen. If you are saying amen, say it better. Amen. amen. Whatever force or power that is keeping you on the same spot, by the reason of the impartation of this service, you are changing level. Amen. I say again, you are changing level. Amen. You are breaking forth into a new dimension of success. Amen. If you are saying amen, say it better. Amen. The increase you have never carried in your lifetime. Watch out beginning from today. It will break forth for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be. In Jesus name we have prayed. Make that amen louder. Put those hands together for the Lord. And please be seated. God is a good God. In this covenant day of fruitfulness, tagged blessed beyond numbers, hear me? <laughs> your coast will enlarge. Amen. I say your coast will enlarge Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. So we are going to be taking it in three different series and dimensions. We are going to be taking the blessings of progress enlargement and increase in the second service we are going to be taking the blessings of success and greatness and in the third service we are going to deal with the blessing of the fruit of the womb like i said before in the third service everyone that wants the fruit of the womb they will be going with one one bottle in jesus mighty name praise god very quickly in our teaching series for September 2018, still in the series, I will restore it unto you. Is there no balm in Gilead? We are looking at understanding your right to total health. Understanding your right to total health in redemption. Scripture made us to understand that we are made complete in him. Say with me, complete in him. Your redemption gives you total package. By implication, you are not only redeemed from sin, you are also redeemed from sickness, redeemed from poverty, and every cause of the wicked. And since redemption gives you total package, you are not limited to what you take. 
you are not limited to what you possess. You are entitled to your full benefit in redemption. Full benefit. Not half. Full benefit. And one thing you are bound to take in redemption is total health. I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health. Be. Health is a state of well-being. Health is a state of well-being and our access to divine health is traceable to our connection to eternal life. Eternal life is talking about the very life of God. The very life of God. If a man be in Christ, <laughs> there is a place where you be and everything become. You be and everything begin to be. Let me give you a classic example. Maybe you grew up in the village where you need to put a mosquito coil in four corners. How many of you have used mosquito coil? <laughs> Use mosquito coil. Everyone and now puts one close to you so that in case the mosquito dodge from that side and come, the mosquito will, coil will be sending it out. Am I correct? Now they now brought you to the city where you are now sleeping with air condition. You know, mosquito does not operate well under air condition. They go and hang very far because the cold is too dangerous. Now you are in a place, you are now B. Say with me, B. Where you don't see those kind of, uh, uh, either you use fan, um, in a place they call it a coupe. <laughs> are you hearing what I'm saying? Uh, or you will hold a whip. <laughs> are you hearing what I'm saying? <laughs> now, you are under a condition and you are sleeping like a baby. You won't even know when it's daybreak. You are now be in a new place. If a man be, there is a place to be. I might say something to someone. If a man be, there is a place where you be, some things don't touch you. There is a place where you be, what others feel, you don't feel it. There is a place where you be, what others suffer, you don't suffer it. If a man be in Christ, Jesus Christ gave us access to eternal life. The very life of God. Don't forget in Genesis 1, 26, he said, let us make man in our image after our likeness. So by access to Christ, we are restored back. Say with me, restored back. To that platform. To that platform. Where things be. They, not, they just be. You don't struggle for it to work. Eternal life is not mechanized. It's a platform that bees. He has translated us from the kingdom of darkness. Into the kingdom of his dear son. It's a translation. It's a translation. So redemption forbids you to go from crisis in your head to another level of crisis in your head. Every month you are going down. No! It is anti-redemption. You have the right to challenge it. Scripture says they go from strength to strength. Everyone appearing before. Why will you be going from sickness to sickness? So eternal life immunes us against the arrows of affliction programmed by the wicked. 
I tell you the truth, arrows are flying by day. Scripture say arrows shall fly by day, pestilence shall walk at noonday. So every day arrows are flying. Afflictions are moving. But your guarantee by divine immunity is that it shall not come near thee. I say it shall not come near thee. 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 So eternal life in Christ gives us the right to stay in health. To stay in health. You must stay in health. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. One sure way to enforce our divine health and to bring us out of sickness in case we are challenged is to use the name of Jesus. Say with me the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus is an all-purpose name. Multi-purpose. Multi-dimensional. All-purpose name. Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 6. Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 6. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. His name is full of wonders. Every time the name is mentioned, wonders triggers. It releases wonders. It is impossible to live a wonderful life without the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus is likened to a perfume. Every time it re is released, an aroma is released. All you just need to do is to do your perfume like P -p -p. The moment you do P -p -p, it don't feel everywhere. You can't carry that name and not feel good. The name doesn't only make you feel good, it makes life better. It makes life sweeter. It makes life enjoyable. It gives you access to the things that makes you to be in health. Be if this must be well for you, that name must answer for you. The name is full of wonders. Philippians chapter 2. Let's take it from verse 5. Let this mind be in you which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation and took upon himself, took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of man. And being found in the fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore, God also had highly exalted him and given him what? Amen. <laughs> that name, <laughs> he earned it not by baths, but by commitment. Every name goes with an unction. Studio, put that in back. When I say, anytime I'm talking, just leave it there until I say remove. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? This local studio. He had given him a name. 
which is above every name. Now take it to the next verse. That at the name of Jesus, what? How many? Every knee should bow. Stubborn knees must bow. Stubborn sickness must bow. In heaven and things in earth and things under the earth. He has given him a name that everything answers to. For by him all things were made, visible and invisible. For by him all things. So everything answers to him. The name carries divine authority. The name is the treasure house of heaven. Wherever that name is mentioned, forces must respond to it. They don't have the ability to say no to it. At the mention of that name. So every sickness bows to the name. No wonder the disciples, they cried out. Grant Lord. That by the name of the holy child Jesus, the signs and wonders will be wrought. Grant. Grant, Lord. So every time the name is mentioned, signs must break out. Healing must take place. Hear me? Sickness does not bow to any title. It bows to the name. No wonder Jesus said, What thing soever you shall ask my father in my name. What? What thing soever, anything you will ask my father in my name, it shall be granted. What thing soever you shall ask my father in my name. So the name gives you a bill to stay sickness free so you can stay sickness free you can come out of torment you can come out of satanic manipulation you can come out of depression the name can bring you out oh the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are what? Say. So you can't call that name and be stranded. Anytime you call the name, there is what we call a divine response. You must get a response. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. He that calleth upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Not be mocked, be saved. Shall be saved. Shall be saved. You can't call the name and angels don't respond. Heaven responds to you. Things bow to you. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Do you know with the name you can choke affliction out of your body? Do you know with the name you can dry up the roots of any unwanted growth? Dry it up. When that name is mentioned, fire goes. The name causes fire. No wonder the occultic, they dread you calling the name. Because any time you call the name, things scatter in their camp. I remember they arrested a member in Lagos. The occult is all this one chance. They enter one chance vehicle. And you know, the moment you enter, they will just do something. Everybody will sleep. So this brother refused to sleep. He refused to sleep. So they carried all of them 
as they got there, he was still doing in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Others have slept. He refused to sleep. So, they now brought them into where it was time for slaughter. Do you know what came out of his mouth? Jesus! The evil high priest came out from the evil chamber. Who mentioned that name? They now pointed at him. They say, I better carry him out before I come and spot him. Carry his. We don't use this kind of one for, for Juju. This kind of one. This is bad market. There will be bad market in the camp of your enemies. If you are saying amen, say it better. Amen. That was how God intervened for him. The name is an intervention. The name is an intervention. You don't need long, long grammar. In the name of Jesus, something must happen. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? That name has power to break barrenness. We had a member in Asaba Church in 2004. Just a teaching on the name of Jesus. She went in, locked herself, and was just called, In the name of Jesus. I must carry my baby. In the name of... That was how she prayed and slept off. This one, uh, not father your words, say, in the name of Jesus, I must carry my baby. That was how God gave her their first son, David. The name has power to break. It has power to unlock. It has power to establish. The name is a seal on the blessings of God upon your life. What is so ever you shall ask my father in my name. A stamp. A seal of divine blessing. So it's impossible for you to be to be in divine health without the name. The name is a covering. The name is a covering. It shields you. Even when the sons of Skifa were confronted by some Kalukalu prayer contractors. Jesus, I know. Paul, I know. Who are you? <laughs> there is a name that is recognized in heaven, on earth, beneath the earth. They know that name. They know that name. Since they were not recognized, they received what we call thunder slap. They gave them thunder slap. Jesus, I know. Paul, I know. Who are you? So, calling the name bails you out from every sickness. I want to let you know. If you can believe the name, you don't need a pastor to pray for you. Yes, you don't need a pastor to pray for you. Father, you are not a bastard. You are a proper child. I say you are a proper child. Yeah. And being a proper child, you are licensed to use the name of your father. You are licensed to use the name of your father. You are licensed to use the name of your father. And using that name, no sickness torments you. No sickness oppress you. No marine spirit manipulates you. You break their hold. No affliction survives your body. But what is it that you need for this name to answer for you? The scripture says, through faith in the name. You know, we are all, everybody is shouting the name of Jesus. Not everybody has faith in the name. Faith in the name. 
there is faith in you must have faith in the name faith in the name faith is an expression of not only confidence but conviction And when you are convinced that something will work for you, you use it to your advantage. You are not just confident, you are convinced that the name will not fail. Just like Daniel and the three Hebrew boys said, O oh king, we are not careful to answer you in this matter. Our God whom we serve is able to deliver us. Even if he does not, we will still not bow to you. That is, he has moved from the level of faith to the level of conviction, which we call trust. You know, trust is stronger. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Somebody's faith can shake. But conviction, trust, it cannot be moved. No wonder scripture says they that trust in the, in the Lord, they are like Mount Zion that cannot be moved. <laughs> People that trust, they, they cannot be moved by situation or what they hear. They trust, they have trust. Finish. We are not careful to answer you in this matter. Our God whom we serve is able to deliver. But in case he does not show up, we will still not bow to you. Did God show up or not? So, you must exercise your full-scale trust in God. Unwavering trust. Not a shaking trust. Some people believe God today. Tomorrow when things change, they change their mind. Your trust in God is what makes that name to answer to you. And you know what? God sees everybody's heart. He knows who is trusting him and who is not trusting him. That's why scripture says, I, the Lord, search the heart. And I examine the ray to reward every man according to his deed. As everybody is in church now, God sees every heart. He sees every heart. That's why you can't call the name and the name fails you. And that is why also not everybody can use the name anyhow. You can't use the name anyhow. The name works, but it works for those whose hearts are perfect towards God. I believe God today that whatever is causing you to fear, we bow to that name today. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Whatever is depressing your heart, the name will force them out of your life. Amen. Say amen like a believer. Amen. Wherever you go, go with that name. Wherever you stay, stay with that name. The name is not afraid of anything. Everything is afraid of the name. So it's a weapon you must not toy with. If sickness bow to it, the master of the sickness also bows to it. The power behind the affliction bows to it. And I want to let you know, before we move to the other side, Whatever look like a recurring sickness, it comes and it goes. Today is the final day. Yeah. Say amen like a believer. Yeah. I say today is the final day. Yeah. As we engage that name, any door of sickness the enemy has opened in your body, that door will be closed permanently. Amen. Say amen like a believer. Amen. I 
I'd like us to hear this also. Fruitfulness is the will of God for every believer. Genesis chapter 1 and verse 28. And God blessed them. Security. Locate whoever that person is. Collect the phone. I say you should collect it. God blessed them and God said unto them be say with me be, be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. Hear this? You cannot be until you are blessed. You can never become until you are what? Blessed. God said be you can only be when there is a stamp of the blessing. So when blessings come, <laughs> you become. When blessings come, you what? You can never be until blessings come. It takes the blessing to become. God said, be fruitful. Be fruitful means bear fruits. Be productive. Increase in unlimited dimension. Succeed in multifaceted dimension. Go forward the way you want it. Have opportunities that will take you to greatness. Be fruitful. That's what be fruitful also means have a favorable outcome in life. And hear me, whether you like it or not, people are expecting a favorable outcome from you. Am I saying the truth? Even from the village. If they call, how are you now? They want to know what is happening around you. So if you are not blessed, you can never be whether your mother is born again no, or your father is not born again, no, it's not the issue. Their concern is, is he becoming? Is he becoming? The blessed place to be is to be in the atmosphere of the blessing. Because when you are in the atmosphere of the blessing, you stand a chance to become. Say with me, become. fruitful and multiply that word multiply means grow enlarge become numerous increase exponentially so in your business are you growing in your career are you increasing There is something about the blessing which everyone must take home today. You better say a good amen. amen. You can't be blessed and be on the same spot. Never. You can't be blessed and remain small. 
The blessing is a divine catalyst to enable you become. Because wherever the blessing or to whoever the blessing is released, the presence of God goes with the blessing to establish and confirm. It's just like when a curse is released, demonic powers go with a curse to enforce it. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Demonic power go after the individual because something must be enforced or something must come to pass in the person's life. Likewise, when the blessings are released, the presence of God goes to enforce, to bring to pass, to establish. So there is something in the blessing that makes for business progress, that makes for enlargement, that makes for stable growth. Some people are not growing. That's why you make them make ref- you hear them make reference. When I was, I used to be. I used to be, you are a proverb. You are no longer. When you say I used to be, you are now a proverb. You are no longer. So what is in the blessing? Number one, the blessing is the seed of increase and multiplication. I was listening to Padegoye's testimony yesterday night. He said something that he gave one baba, an old man, something. And the baba looked at him and said, you did this to me? Say, you are blessed. That in your lifetime, you will travel to many countries. And Baba was saying, (laughs) he was laughing in his heart. Because as at that time in their village, if you travel abroad and come back, they will do village ceremony. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? And he said, even the village ceremony is more than coronating a king. Someone has traveled abroad to Oyibo land and he came back. He said he is surprised because he remembered what that Baba said that he will travel to plenty countries. He said he has, tra- he, said he has traveled severally. He said, which part of the world has he not traveled to? His mother told him also that when you call for one, 10,000 will answer you. Say with me the blessing. The blessing forbids stagnation. The blessing breaks the yoke of stagnation. The blessing breaks the yoke of frustration. Let me put it this way. The blessing is a limit breaker. You cannot be limited when the blessing comes upon you. So if you are struggling now, I tell you the truth. I lie not. There is a cause revolving around you. You need a blessing to counter the cause. That is why the blessing is the seed of increase and multiplication. And God said unto them, and God blessed them, and God blessed them, and God said unto them, be. If you are never blessed, you can never be. Every chance you have to be blessed, man, put your head. Never you position your head for a cause, you are increasing your frustration. Not every business is dying where that dollar has gone to 370. Many are still increasing. The blessing is the seed of increase and multiplication. The 
Another blessing, number two, is a divine implement for the filling up of your emptiness. Let me use this word so that you, it will be better. If it looks as if things are going down, your business is depreciating. Your opportunities are fading away. Your helpers are no longer. When the blessing comes, new doors are open. New doors are open. New doors are open. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And the earth was without form and void. And the spirit of the Lord was hovering over the surface of the deep. And God said, let there be light. Every time a blessing is proclaimed, emptiness fades away. What was going down begins to jack up. The blessing enhances profitability. It increases your chance of success. Can you carry the blessing and remain in an empty shop? No. Your shop is not permitted to be empty. Empty of customers. Empty of goods. No way. Things must flow when the blessings come. So you can't operate an empty shop when you carry the blessing. It forbids emptiness. Why? Because the blessings go with the presence. In his presence, there is fullness of joy. At his right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. So wherever the blessing goes, the presence goes. And wherever the presence goes, fullness must take place. I see fullness becoming your portion. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. The blessing number number what? Is a supernatural accelerator of life and progress. When blessing comes upon you, you gain speed. You don't crawl. You don't struggle to go forward. You don't tell people we are managing. You don't tell people we are patching. When the blessing comes forward, you go forward. The path of the just is like a shining light. That shining brighter and brighter unto a perfect day. The blessing is a supernatural accelerator. Where you were last year is not where you must be found this year. The blessing powers you for progress. The blessing destroys stagnation, redundancy. There are some people that say that I don't even know what else to do. No, not when the blessing comes upon you. Do you know what? Do you know why it was difficult for them to finish Isaac in Genesis 26? Scripture says when he dug the first well, the Philistines, they blocked it. You hear me? You can't finish a blessed man. You cannot. I tell you, you cannot. One million witch can't finish a blessed man. When the blessing comes upon you, the more they try to close you down, the more doors are opening. They, he dug the first well, they closed it. He dug the second well, they closed it. He dug the third well, they left him alone. And the man was strong and became great. And the man was, please let's read it. Genesis 26 from verse 12. Ganging up against a blessed man is foolishness. He will be rising, you will be falling. Go and check it. Ganging up against a blessed man in any area is foolishness on your part. He will be rising, you will be going down. Then Isaac sowed in that land and received in the same year a hundredfold and the Lord blessed him. Look at the next verse. And the man was what? Please, I'd like you to repeat that word. 
And the man was what? Grace. And went and grew. Can you not see it now? Can you stop a blessed man? From today, no one can make you go down. Yeah. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Yeah. When the blessing comes, going forward is not an option. What others call a setback is an uplift for you. When the blessing comes and the man works great and went forward and became very great. <laughs> so the blessing for a businessman, for a career man is space and larger. God said, I will, I will open to you the windows of heaven that you will not have room enough to do what? Contain the blessing. When God has opened the windows of heaven, you will not be looking for space to pack goods, to store the blessings, to keep the money. That will be your experience from today. If you are saying amen, say it better. Amen. That's why, hear this oh. You can't be a businessman and you position your head for the blessing and be going down. It is not possible. It is not possible. The blessing also is a divine device for enlargement of your capacity. Enlargement of your capacity. Meaning, when the blessing comes upon you, what you couldn't handle before in terms of opportunity, you can now handle them. What does it mean to have capacity? Now, let's take for example now, maybe you are an engineer the first thing they do before they give you a job is to check your job profile. Which job have you done? I built three bedroom flats. They grade you C. Which job have you done? He said, I built a duplex. They grade you B. Which job have you done? I built a school. What's the size of the school? Three story building with 30 classroom. They grade you A. They know your capacity. When the blessing comes upon you, capacity for big opportunity answer upon your head. Amen. You better say a good amen. amen. So the blessing is a capacity enlarger. And scripture says, a little one shall become like a thousand. And a small one like what? A great nation. So when the blessing comes upon you, you are moving to the status of a nation. Hear me? Your business will not suffer slow motion again. Amen. Say amen like a believer. Amen. Can you now see why as a businessman, as a career man, you are not permitted to be on the same spot? Never. You are never permitted to be on the same spot. You are never permitted to be on the same spot. Lastly, before we move to the next thing, the blessing is a supernatural stamp of divine goodness. Divine goodness. Isaiah 61 and verse 9. And their seed shall be known among the Gentiles. And their offspring among the people. All that see them shall acknowledge them. That they are the seed which the Lord has what? The seed which the Lord had blessed. Whoever sees you will know that goodness is going with you. Amen. Scripture says, surely, goodness 
and mercy shall follow thee. What is following you? What is following you? What is following you? It is impossible to see a blessed man and not see goodness around him. Goodness. Goodness around him. And when we talk about the goodness of God, the blessings of God, whether material or financial, anything you are talking about is there. It's all around him. So you can't carry the blessing and not be an advertiser of the goodness. So as a businessman, as a career man, you are not permitted to suffer. If the blessing is in you, suffering will be far from you. You better say a good amen. There are some people that are in business, they are suffering. They are what? They are suffering. They are grinding. So stop grinding. It's not your portion. I say it's not your portion. What is your portion is goodness. And the goodness of the Lord will be seen all around them. From today, people will see the goodness of God all around you. If you are saying amen, say it better. Amen. amen. The goodness of the Lord all around him. So wherever he steps in, goodness. Hear me? I like you to know you are a mobile goodness. Amen. I say you are a mobile goodness. Amen. Anywhere you go, good follow you. Ah, uh, I say anywhere you go, good follow you. Amen. From today, only good things will be following you. There are some people when they step into a place things stop working but there are others when they step into a place the frequency of what is happening changes for the better that will be your testimony from today the blessings confess goodness how will you be in business and they ask you how is business man the country don't change should i tell you something it is not your portion why do I say it's not your portion? The blessing is an atmosphere changer. It changes the atmosphere for your sake. When men are saying there is a casting down, for you, thou shalt say there is a lifting up. The blessing is an atmosphere changer. When you carry the blessing, if things were not working before you stepped in, because you have stepped in, things will begin to work. Amen. You better say a good amen. amen. Based on this which you have seen about the blessing, your business is not permitted to die in your hand. Amen. No. Your business is not permitted to struggle in your hand. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. You are not permitted to struggle or sorrow over the business. Amen. You better say a good amen. amen. The blessing can be there and the business is dying in your hand. If the blessing is there, the business will blossom. The righteous shall be fat and flourishing. It shall grow like the cedar of Lebanon. To show that the Lord is upright. And there is no unrighteousness with him. What are the things that mix for the blessing beyond numbers? But let me say this. Let me say this. Every time a blessing comes upon you, a new chapter of increase has been opened. What did I say? A new chapter of what? <laughs> Every time a blessing comes upon you, a new chapter of the blessing is open. A new chapter. A new chapter. And I'm going to show us from scriptures. So what do you need? Number one, 
you must have faith. Say with me, faith. faith. You must have faith in the blessing. Faith is a combination of conviction, revelation, and declaration. With the heart man believe it. Unto righteousness. And with the mouth confession is made. You believe it. Are you hear what I'm saying now? You must have faith in the blessing. Believe the Lord our God and that shall be established. Believe also his prophets so shall that word prosper. If you don't believe, it's your fault. It's your choice. Nobody forces you to believe. You believe whatever you choose to. So you must have faith in the blessing. You must have faith. You must have faith in the blessing. You must also have faith in the one blessing you. March this year, when we went to see Bishop, he said, do you know what? You know, anytime he's talking, he'll be smiling. He said, you know what? God is enlarging your coast. Whatever you are doing, keep doing it. You are not wasting your time. You are not wasting your resources. You are opening new chapters. There are many that are ahead of you that cannot smell where you are now in terms of the blessing. He began to tell me some things that I cannot mention to you now. He said, that is the same who is laughing? You want me to tell you? I can't tell you everything. He started telling me, you see this one? You see this one? He said, that's how I was doing it and now I've entered it. That's how you two you are entering it. Amen. No, it's my own. <laughs> are you hearing what I'm saying now? And he speak a word, he said, from today, you and your family come up to the realm of our blessing. Amen. I can never forget that word, even in the dream. He said, You have entered our realm of blessing. So, praying for me to fail now, you are wasting your energy. I'm telling you the truth. Do you know why? Them that bless you, I will bless. Them that cause you, I will do what? He said, I will be an enemy to your enemy. So when you become my enemy, see the arrows where they wait for you. See the arrows where they wait for you. I don't have any problem. You, you, you are just free to become my enemy. Or look for who will help you to become my enemy. Because I've entered the swearing. You hear me? Fathers swear. They swear blessing upon you. Just like Isaac blessed Esau and Jacob. He said, I have blessed him. And indeed, he shall be blessed. Was he blessed or not? Like I said before, you must have faith in the blessing. And two, you must have faith in the one blessing you. Do you know why we have faith in the one blessing me? Because the one they said before, I'm already seeing it. I'm already seeing it. He's still echoing in my spirit what Ibiomi said in 2016. He said, the blessing of 10 years, God will give it to you in 10 weeks. The 10 weeks never finish. Oh. The 10 weeks never what? I'm just moving from favor to favor. Open door to open door. Opportunity to opportunity. Every time they swear a blessing, a new door opens. So, blessed beyond numbers is triggered by the blessing. You must have faith in the blessing. And you must also have faith in the one blessing you. Every time they bless, the atmosphere changes. Meaning, they are changing the tides for me. 
If things were to be rough for me because I have been blessed, there is a presence that goes with the blessing. It changes the tide. Number three, faithfulness. Proverbs 28, verse 20, a faithful man shall abound with what? Blessing. Faithfulness means to be consistent, to be persistent in doing the right thing. Just keep doing what you are doing. Just keep the good thing you know how to do, just keep doing it. Just keep doing it. 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 A faithful man shall abound with what? Blessing. And lastly, to make the blessing beyond numbers real in your life, uprightness. Say with me, uprightness. Don't live a fake life. Don't live a deceptive life. You are hindering and limiting your chance of being in the blessing. No matter how cunning or crafty you think you are, God sees you to determine what you get. Stop punishing yourself. Be sincere to yourself. Before you can be sincere to man and God, be sincere to yourself. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Yes, uh -huh. uh, Why are you deceiving? Decept your, your deception is only afflicting your own destiny. It's not afflicting anybody. Are you, no, but you are not deceiving me. No, you are not. You are only limiting your own chance by being deceptive. If you lie, fake your face. If you lie, fake your action. You are not faking me, you are faking yourself. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? I am not your rewarder. I, am I your rewarder? I can't be your rewarder. Our, everybody's rewarder is God. So anything you are faking now, or you are thinking you, are, you think that you are smart, you are only doing yourself, you are not doing me. You can only as smart yourself, not me. Even the person you think that you are playing smart on, who gives a damn? Keep playing your game and keep limiting your chance. Every game you play limits you, doesn't limit me. Are you hear what I'm saying now? That's why I had it from Padegoye. Sincerity to yourself attracts divine intervention. If someone is working with you now and you think that you are smart, Bullshit. He will still leave you and be going forward. Okay, now take for example now. I'm working with um, Pastor Jeremy. Okay. I'm not doing as if I'm smarter. I'm not doing some curry, curry, curry. Who is losing? Who is losing? Now position yourself. I'm bigger than you. And you too, you know that I'm bigger than you. You are not doing as if uh, you are smarty and curry curry. I will still leave you and be going forward. Now, position yourself with God. Can you be smarter than the one that made you? Can you now see why some people are not going forward? God can put a word of blessing from my mouth for everybody, but not everybody will get it. I'm telling you the truth. Do you know why? Their heart is not right. As anointed as Papa is in Canaan land, because I'm being blessed. Some people will still not get it. The blessing is meant to bring things to pass in your life. But the condition of your heart determines the one you go with. Rise up to your feet. Today, mark the end of frustration in your career. 
I say today, mark the end of limitation in your business. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Whatever has made you to go from profit to losses, today will be the last day in the name of Jesus. Amen. You are going to pray. Lord, change my story. Change my story. My business will no longer suffer barrenness. My business will no longer suffer losses. My career stagnation is enough. Lord, change my story. Lift up your voice right now and pray from the depths of your heart. You are not permitted to go from losses to losses, but from profits to profits, from progress to progress, from increase to increase. Lift up your voice and talk to God. Lord, change my story. The same way it is working for our fathers. Lord, let it also work. In a new dimension. Let it also work. In a new dimension. Let it also work. In a new dimension. The blessing of the Lord, it maketh rich, and he added no sorrow with it. Lord, change my story. Let your blessing come upon my life in a new way. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. All eyes closed, all heads bow. Inside and outside, you are not here. You are here, you are not born again. Wherever you are, I'd like you to know you need to make it right with Jesus so that he can be well with you. The blessing cannot rest if you are not saved. But you want the blessing to stay, then you need to be saved. Put your right hand in your chest if you mean it and you want to say this prayer with me. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I come unto you today. I know that I'm a sinner. Forgive me. Wash me with your precious blood. I reject sin. I reject Satan. Come into my life. Be my Lord and be my Savior. In Jesus' name, I pray. If you pray this prayer with me, wherever you are, come right now. I want to pray with you. I want to pray with you. You pray this prayer with me. God bless you wherever you are. If you are coming, come quickly. God bless you. Come, come. God bless you. Come. God bless you. Come. Don't need to be ashamed. Come. I want to pray with you. Put your hands together for Jesus.